okay this is uh, NCRE math solutions chapter num number four quadratic equations exercise 4.2 question number one the question is find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorizations okay let's go through the problems the very first problem is x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0 we want to solve this quadratic equation by factorization okay the very first step is to check the multiplication of these two terms like whatever term is here where the degree of x is 2 and this constant term let's check their product x square minus 10 is equal to minus 10 x square now the the procedure is we want to split this middle term in such a way into two terms such that the product of those two terms becomes equal to minus 10 x square okay let's check the different combinations of minus 3x how, how we can split minus 3x we can split minus 3x into something like uh, minus 7x plus 4x that's equal to minus 3x we know that but the product of minus 7x and 4x is equal to minus 28x square but we want minus 10x square so this is not going to work okay let's check different combination minus 6x plus 3x it's also minus 3x right so but the product of minus 6x and 3x is minus 18x square so it is not going to work either now we have minus 5x plus 2x it's equal to minus 3x but we have product of minus 5x and 2x equal to minus 10x square this is going to work so we will split this minus 3x into minus 5x plus 2x and I will write minus 10 as it is now I'll take x common from the first two terms this is the process and I get x minus 5 in the brackets and I can take two common from these two terms I get x minus 5 equal to 0 now I can take x minus 5 common from these two terms x minus 5 common and I get x plus 2 remaining and it's equal to 0 now putting x minus 5 equal to 0 and x plus 2 equal to 0 I get here x equal to 5 and x equal to minus 2 so this is the solution of the given quadratic equation this quadratic equation by the method of factorization okay let's cover a few more examples then question number 2 is 2x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0 the product of this minus 6 and 2x square is minus 12 x square now we want to split this middle term in such a way okay when you will try different combinations you will get to know that 4x minus 3x is equal to x and we need that x here and the product of 4x and minus 3x is also minus 12 x square so this combination is going to work so I can say that I will split this x into 4x minus 3x minus 6 equal to 0 and I will take 2 2x common from these first two terms I get x plus 2 here and I will take minus 3 common from these two terms and I will get x plus 2 here now I can take x plus 2 common from these two terms and here I will get 2x minus 3 equal to 0 now putting if I put x plus 2 equal to 0 I get x equal to minus 2 and if I put 2x minus 3 equal to 0 I get 2x equal to 3 and x equal to 3 divided by 2 so therefore I get x value of x is minus 2 or it is 3 over 2 so this is the solution of this quadratic equation given quadratic equation by the method of factorization problem number 3 problem number 3 is square root of 2x square plus 7x plus 5 under root 2 equal to 0 now just multiply these two terms 5 under root 2 times square root of 2x square is equal to 5 times this under root 2 times under root 2 is 2 times x square and it's equal to 10x square so we want 
product equal to 10 x square when we will be splitting this middle term and we know that 7 x is equal to 5 x plus 2 x and the product of 5 x and 2 x is equal to 10 x square so this combination is going to work so now I can take x common from these two terms I get under root 2 x plus 5 here and I can take uh, under root 2 common from here I'll get under root 2 x plus 5 here just consider this thing don't get confused we have this term now now I can take under root 2 x plus 2 common from these two terms so I get under root 2 x plus 5 so I get x plus under root 2 equal to 0 and this thing is also equal to 0 and putting this thing equal to 0 and putting this thing equal to 0 I get x is equal to minus 5 divided by root 2 and here I get x is equal to minus under root 2 I can further simplify this actually I can further rationalize this minus 5 under root 2 to rationalize it I multiply it by the denominator and divide it by the denominator and I get minus 5 under root 2 divided by 2 so x is equal to minus 5 square root of 2 divided by 2 and minus square root of 2 so this is the solution of this given quadratic equation by the method of factorization now let's cover four, no, example number 4 it is 2x square minus x plus 1 over 8 equal to 0 now I can take LCM 8 8 is the LCM of all the denominators here now 8 divided by 1 is equal to 8 and 8 times this term which is here is equal to 16 x square 8 divided by 1 this one is 8 and 8 times x is minus 8 x 8 times minus x is minus 8 x and 8 divided by 8 divided by 8 is 1 and 1 times 1 is 1 and that's equal to 0 now I can take this 8 to the right hand side by just cross multiplication and it will become 0 8 times 0 is 0 that's why it will be 0 here now it's it's again the same quadratic same type of quadratic equation that we just solved uh, let's multiply these two terms this term and this term 16x square times 1 is just 16x square so I will split this middle term in, in such a way that the product of those two terms would be 16x square so and those terms are minus, minus 4x minus 4x and minus 4x minus 4x is minus 8x and their product is 16x square minus 4x times minus 4x is equal to 16x square plus 1 equal to 0 here and I take 4x common here 4x 4x common from first two terms and I get 4x minus 1 in the brackets and minus 1 common here I get 4x minus 1 in the brackets equal to 0 4x minus 1 can be from these two terms I can take 4x minus 1 common and I get 4x minus 1 equal to 0 here now putting both these terms equal to 0 I get x is equal to 1 by 4 1 by 4 for both of them for this one you will get one one divided by four and for this one you will get one divided by four that that's why you will have two equal values of x here which is one divided by four let's cover the final example example number five problem number five is 100 x square minus 20 x plus one equal to zero okay according to the process just multiply these two terms times 1 is equal to 100 x square now split this term in such a way that the product of those two terms is 100 x square so in okay just let's go through different combination minus 15 x minus 5 x you will have 75 x square when you will multiply them one second minus 15 x minus 5 x is equal to m minus 20 x you know that and when you multiply them you will get 75 x square but we need 100 x square so you will try different combination okay when you will be 
minus minus 12x minus 8x is minus 20 20x but when you multiply them you get 96x square when you will move further you will get minus 10x minus 10x equal to minus 20x and the multiplication of these two terms is 100x squared so these this combination is going to work here so I got 100x squared I can split into minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0 I take 10x common from the first two terms I get x minus 1 here in the brackets and minus 1 coming from the next two terms and I get sorry here should be 10 x minus 1 and minus 1 common from the first two, last two terms and I'll get 10 here x minus 1 equal to 0 so 10 x minus 1 common from the, these two terms and again I get 10 x minus 1 here equal to 0 now equating both of these terms equal to 0 you will get x is equal to 1 divided by 10 and 1 divided by 10 and both of these are equal so this is problem number five in the next video i will be covering question number two chapter number four exercise 4.2 quadratic equations grade 10 okay see you guys